all of a sudden, Haji Berry's gone. Misha Galina is gone. Those two players accounted for all of their offense as this thing is underway. Colorado Springs moving from right to left on your screen. New Mexico will be moving from left to right. First goal paramount, obviously, for any club. But you figure with the firepower that Colorado Springs has, turn over here. Enriquez with an open net denied point blank from Tom Bacchus. Right there as Williams was high in this area, flicks it on. Enriquez trying to take advantage of Tambakis. Tambakis with three stops in close proximity that really helped at least ignite something with a wide open net and another great stop, but all of a sudden it rolls in. A bad break leads to a goal, and Santiago Moore gives the road team their first goal tonight. It's one to nothing, New Mexico. Thrust he put into Speedy Williams here, and it was a little bit of a mistouch, but what really was baffling, as you said, is Herrera didn't come across quickly when that was developing. Almost still makes the save yeah. with that six foot seven frame. But if you're watching the play, when he gave that ball to Williams, he didn't come back across his goal to be in a position if it did go wrong. Place that one into the box and had a couple of teammates that were lurking. Moreno, Moreno trying to make a move. Herrera comes out of his net. Moreno with a wide open net, he puts it in. There has to be a foul, I imagine the case. And Moreno says, no, that's not me, but yes, indeed it is unused, young sir. <laughs> he could Back to this build up. And look at this direct play in behind and New Mexico United doing really well there. This is scary moments right here for LaCroix. LaCroix does really good just to get in front. Yeah. And Possession, 57 to 43, Moreno here. Moreno with the touch, Dolling, left foot just misses! Oh, he tried going short side against Herrera, trying to pick that corner, and he nearly had it. Enriquez. I mean, the ability of Moreno just to see that seam and find it and put it on the foot of Dolling. Uh-oh, chance here for Colorado Springs. Poor attempt on the other side, and it finds Twine! Wow, a broken play ends up breaking the back of Tambakis, and we're level at 1-1. Williams was there, a good first time pass to Williams, but Tambakis was going to his left, and that deflection just completely wrong foots him. Seagrass, though, puts it across goal, and sometimes this is what happens. You want to put it into a space that's dangerous for back lines. And Interesting note for Colorado Springs. They've scored in the last 15 matches, looking for more and the lead. A fair pass over on the right-hand side. Bouncing around, it's 2-1, Colorado Springs. Well, the passing was crisp. It was fantastic. And Skundrich on the board now for the first time tonight. Colorado Springs with their first lead. All this play down the left side, Romario Williams just working in this space, playing in combination. Look at that turn from Foster. I thought he was going to go himself, drops it back into here. Speedy Williams just keeping it in play, and Skundrich is right there in front to flick it on, completely on side because New Mexico United didn't have time to step their line to catch him off. So Greg Hurst and Daniel Bruce are both in for New Mexico. That one played at the top of the box for Williams. Out wide, another opportunity, the wide open lane, and that shot just missed the far side. Segris was bidding for a goal, at least his first of the night. But Encarnacion delivering the final shot, though, that says that will be that. So Colorado Springs down one nothing, did not play bad by any stretch of the imagination.